hate to admit it, but uh, it's been great serving with all of you. Hey, Frank, thanks for dressing up for the occasion. I'm, I'm touched. <laughs> thanks, guys, come on. Okay, remember, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Marina Lounge. Drink till you drop. That goes for you, too, ladies. Yeah. Um, Lieutenant, got a little surprise for you. Oh, come on, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys. Hey, what happened? Did somebody steal your cake, sir? Right. Yeah, you did. Change the plans, Frank. Captain wants you with a new partner. A new partner? Yeah. Who did I piss off this time? <clears throat> it's a new uh, detective trainee. She's here for her final two weeks and an hour late for her first day on the job. A uh, hell of a way to start a new career. She looks single to me, Frank. Sergeant Gannon. Nice to meet you, Ross. You ready? Absolutely. Right, let's go. See you guys. Hey, Carl. Good looking girls, Mac. Thanks. I reckon it's going to take some getting used to. Right and so. Still think you should stay at my place till we know it's safe here. Yeah, well. Anyway, we've been all over the ranch. I'm going to leave one of my boys here for a while. Carl, no, I don't. That's just the way it's going to be. Girls, this is Sheriff DeWitt. This is Kelly and this is Chris. Nice to meet you both. Hi. Hi. I'll come by later and check on you. Okay, thanks a lot. Look, Judy didn't understand baseball. And I feel sorry for her. But that's all I feel. I've got my priorities set, and that's why I'm one of the best in the league. Yeah, well, I'm just an ordinary, unimportant man. Who the hell am I to judge others? Who the hell are you not to judge? You're an umpire, for God's sake. You've taken an unspoken oath. It is your moral obligation to seek out the truth that to find if that person is safe, if that person is out. You're the one who puts order and logic into the chaotic world. You! It's God's work, my friend. And he's called you to do it, and do it you must. Now let me hear you strike, Paul. Strike! Oh, come on, Frank. It's the bottom of the ninth. Bases loaded, full count. Griffey sets a plate and Cummins throws a fastball down the black and Griffey freezes. What's your call? Strike! Yeah, again! Strike! Goddamn right! I eat! Yeah! That's it. All we need is a little focus and a little heart. Now let's go and kick the ass! Ah! Come on! Come on! Come on! We're looking for somebody who buys Winston Davis paint, uses this kind of canvas, stretched over this kind of frame. Anyone leap to mind? Oh, let's see, uh... Well, there's a whole little artist colony. <laughs> That's what they like to call themselves, the artist colony. And they use Winston Davis paints. A whole colony. Of course, they don't use James Frames. James Frames? Well, it's not like James Frames, like Frames' is his last name. It's just he makes frames. Oh. This frame is a James Frame. You see what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So which of your clientele uses James Frames? Lots of people. Of course, nobody likes to use this kind of can. Could we not take the scenic route to whatever conclusion you're about to reach? Love blood sugar. Um, Tim. Tim. Tim Monahan. It's got to be. He's the only person I know who uses all three. <laughs> Would you happen to know where we might find Mr. Monahan? Are there any distinctive features? He was pretty ordinary looking. Uh, middle aged. Is there anything else you remember? Uh, I was just going over receipts. What are you doing? You know the procedure. Finish interviewing the witnesses and then check the surveillance video. There is no videotape. What do you mean? The thief took it. I'll ask the questions if you don't mind. There's no videotape. I went to the back room to check the other machine and I, I guess it was never hooked up. Were you the one responsible for making sure the VCR is working in the back room? This is a bookstore. Who's going to rob us? Well, obviously someone did. We'll hook it up tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to work. Nothing. Did 
you with your mouth closed, please? No, give me a break. This is fucked, you know that. What do you mean? First off, the captain found some money missing. We're fucked there. You think so? Oh, Tony, give me a break. Sean. You gotta relax, okay? You gotta take it easy. Yeah. You wanna catch the bad guys? You gotta take some risks. You know that. How come every time you tell me I gotta take some risks and I gotta take it easy, I get in trouble? Because you're a really tense guy. Yeah. I'm working with you too long. Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ears. Doesn't she look great, honey? <laughs> Over here, honey. Take your, put your finger in your mouth like this. Isn't she fantastic? You're a little bunny. Do you like it, Daddy? Mother, mother. Uh, sorry, and Mather, 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 Mather. Listen, everybody's off at lunch. It's lunch time. Can you phone back when people are here? Who is this? Um, I'm having trouble with the phone system. Do you think you could call back in a few minutes, please? I don't think I have a few minutes. Where's June? Well, she, she went to the washroom a little while ago, and I don't know what she's doing. Well, well actually, I've got a good idea what she's doing. What, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm sorry. I mean, excuse me. I need you to stop them. Stop them? Make a noise. Clear your throat. Do something. Put it in his bathroom. Come on. Knock on the door. I can't. Do it. Do it. Knock on the door. Loud, knock loud. <laughs>